Hello there, I'm going to be reviewing the Vidcastive 4K Wi-Fi body camera. My name is Russ. I do food delivery and grocery delivery part-time for five years now. So I do know the value of a body camera. For today, I'm going to be stepping through. We're going to unbox the camera first. Then I'm going to use it both daytime, nighttime, indoors and outdoors. Next, I'll cover what I like. I'll cover what I don't like. Then I'm gonna offer some pro tips for users. And then I'll wrap it up with my recommendation. This video is sponsored by Vidcastive. So check the video description. There'll be a link to order it and a discount code. So let's unbox it. Package is pretty smooth. And you can see here the body camera comes in a little plastic wrap. And then it does have this protective layer of plastic on the screen. And just looking at the camera, you can see from your angle there, that's the back of the camera with the display, the different controls. And then if we turn it sideways, that's where the micro SD card is. This is the front of the camera, the side. And then if you notice the bottom is rounded, so you can't stand it up. You're gonna have to lay it flat, say at a business meeting. Um, and then also on the bottom here, you can see the USB-C port and then also the access port where you can reset the camera should you need to. And keep in mind, you can see here, the camera does rotate 180 degrees. So that way you can face it towards you and see the screen or have it facing away. So this is a nice feature. All right, let's keep going. Underneath the camera there, this uh, protective barrier, another lid to keep everything separated. Here's a USB-C charging cable. Oh, neat. Here's the mount that goes on the back of the camera where it clips in so you can mount it. Like what I'm gonna do is to my shirt. And then also you can see the hole there where you can mount it to a tripod like this camera is. And that just clips on like so. Inside, here's a tool that if you need to reset the camera, it's like a SIM tool ejection thing. Also some wipes to clean the screen, a warranty card, and then contact information for the company. And then finally, this really nice user manual. And I'll come around, actually, I'll just do it right now. Let's flip through the user manual here. You can see they have technical support how to install the micro SD card. You can see the location of all the key components and we'll go through that here shortly. Also what the buttons do. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to figure this out for yourself. Oh, neat. And then how to set up the Wi-Fi hotspot to your phone, downloading an app. Some more information about that. Settings for uh, the other operations, the night vision. And then finishing up with the product specs. The user manual is helpful. You're definitely going to need it when you do the Wi-Fi setup to your camera. But otherwise, I think you can figure it out for yourself. And I'm going to come around now and we'll go through each of the buttons. All right, so this top right button here is the power button. And I'll just turn it on. You have to hold it down for several seconds. And that's how you turn it off as well. The menu selection is here. And then using the up and down arrows, this is how you select through each one. So let's go through it. Resolution, when you select it, you use the power button. So to open it up, um, 4K, 2K, 1080p. To make a selection, you just hit the power button. So that's what I'm gonna do. Image size, you can see you have choices. I'll leave it on the highest, the 48 megabytes. Image rotation, this is important for when you have the camera facing away or facing towards you. And you're going to have to set it every time if you rotate this. Video coding, that's between H.264 and 265. I'll do 264, that's more common. Motion detection, this is a one-time setting. So if you want to leave this mounted and see if someone or an animal comes in the area, you have to manually select on. It'll only work each time. Language, I think that's self-explanatory. There's, and it's, uh, <laughs> you'll have to get used to the menu too, otherwise you can get out of it. 
So there's different languages. I'll leave it on English. The IR switch. I prefer you have manual and auto. I would recommend leave it on auto because in case you forget, I've already done that doing food deliveries and that was frustrating. So just leave it on auto. Should you leave it on manual, this button right here, the down arrow, is what manually turns it on. Loop recording. I like to leave it on the lowest setting possible. That way if there's an issue with the video, at least that has saved a file and it'll break it up into chunks. And then exposure, there's different settings that you can choose. I'm just going to leave it on zero. So say it's really bright outside, you could lower it or really dark, you could raise it. I'll leave it on zero. Volume, this is where you select the different volume of the keys as it's beeping. So I set it on high. See how loud that is? I don't like that. So let's set it to low. LCD auto off. Um, normally to save battery, I want to set that for one minute, but we'll just do that now. Auto power off. This is to save the battery, but I would rather just leave it on the max because I turn it off um, after each delivery to save power. Personnel ID. This is where you can put a numeric code should you want to if you have many employees. And then also device ID. This looks like you can only put in numbers as well, no letters. Date and time, this is where you can set it up, and it is accurate. You can just scroll through. And then formatting the SD card, the micro SD card, we'll just do that now. And then default settings, should you need to reset it back, you can just say okay, I'll just do that for fun. And then the version of the software. So that's just a quick unboxing of the camera and you can see everything that comes with it. Overall, the camera does feel very sturdy to me. I like how skinny and narrow it is. That way when I'm mounting it and I'm gonna mount it on my shirt, it'll stay on really easy. Or if you're in security and you have some kind of a vest, you can uh, secure it that way as well. I do like, again, how tiny and compact it is. If you're gonna have business meetings, um, I think it would be best just to make it the camera straight ahead. That way you just lay it flat on the table and just let it record that way. So anytime that you're changing the rotation of this, just change the setting in the camera as well. And you can look to see if it's right side up or not. But even if you make a mistake, the video is still going to be there and you can see it. In my video editor, I can always flip the image or also it's a mirror image. So when I'm editing this video right now, I actually did minus 100 on the x-axis. That way it looks the same orientation. Um, the way it records, it's a mirror. Overall, the camera and the accessories, the information that comes with it looks very helpful. Looks like a great camera, and I'm looking forward to getting it in use and then getting some documentation to share with you on each of the different features so you can know if this is the camera that you should get for yourself. I hope that you also found that unboxing helpful and exciting. Now let's take a look at the camera in operation, both day, night, indoors and outdoors, and I'm going to have a bunch of footage here for you to review. This is pretty neat. The Wi-Fi connection works. I was able to set it up directions are very easy. You turn it on and hold the down button for about six seconds and then connect it to your phone. You can see here, you can download the file, it automatically starts recording and you can see how it's moving. So I can see this could be good for remote monitoring. Say you have this on a table laying flat and that way you can connect from your phone with you not being in that location. And you can see when people come in or pets or whatever you're trying to record. I also wanted to share that the battery life on this camera is great. It is as advertised, so don't worry about that. I've used it all day off and on. I've also let it record for a long time um, just to test it out. And I've been very satisfied with the battery life. In this clip, let's go through the exposures on the camera. We'll go down first. This is minus one. This is now minus two. This is now back at zero. This is plus one. And this is plus two. Obviously, raising the exposure in the bright light, I could see a difference on the screen.
That's for the back house. Oh, thanks for catching me. Yeah, no problem. Um, do I just go around yeah, this way? If you go way? around this way, you'll see a wood gate right there. Okay. Uh, Sorry about that. Go, no, no worries. You pull the lever and you'll be able to get back there. Thank you. No problem. Check this out. So you can see when shopping, there's pretty good visibility, nice colors. Oh, looks like we got a Grubhub. Whoa, $32. I'm going to take that. I'll grab that. There's the drinks. Um, if you like, I could show you like the address it was trying to send me here. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm glad I found you guys. Cool, have a good day. So that wrong address drop off is a perfect example of why you should have a body camera. Now I have proof that I did my job and I was in the right location. That's why I showed the gentleman my phone to show him the address that he put in and how it was wrong. And you probably heard him say, oh, that's okay or never mind but I'm still gonna contact Grubhub because I don't wanna get in trouble and be accused of not doing my job. So, a clear example how this body camera could potentially save my job. Approaching my car, I'm about maybe six feet away. There are four infrared lights on this camera and you can see they are pretty limited. You can see the car, but by no means does it uh, illuminate it. Let's walk over here to the picnic table. I'm about, say, 10 or 12 feet away from the picnic table, and you can just start to see it come into view along with the trash cans. So I have a tripod here, and we're going to set this camera on there. obviously pretty visible and I'd say six feet nine feet you can still see me 12 feet I think you can see me it's just the screen's really tiny here's the trash can and then 15 feet away I wonder if you can see me and I wonder how the audio is that would be an interesting test to see just how strong the audio is so I'm right up on you now. All right, let's go take a walk into some pitch black areas and see what we see. If you were doing food delivery and you had to place something right there, I think you'd be able to see it pretty well. I definitely can't really see where I'm walking. So I don't normally walk around in the pitch dark and you can just see how this camera fares. It does have four infrared lights. And I think for general usage, it's pretty good. Again, I don't walk around in the pitch black. So now let's cover things that I do really like about this camera. First of all, it's very easy to use. It's a fun little camera. It's not hard to figure out at all. And I also really appreciate how the lens rotates 180 degrees. So you can lay it flat, you can point it towards you, you can point it away from you so that you can see the screen. This is a very nice feature. The other thing that I really like about this camera, just like you're seeing right now, the camera's on a tripod. So whenever you're stationary 
or just slowly moving. You can see how really crystal clear and stable the image is. It's very beautiful. Naturally, like everything in life, there are things that I don't care for and the camera is no different. I did drop it one time and the camera is very nice, but I don't think it's exactly too rugged, so be careful with it. If you do end up having some kind of malfunction, you can reset it using that tool they give you on the bottom. There's a little pinhole. The second thing that I really don't care for about the camera, it doesn't have video stabilization. So you're just gonna have to keep still. Keep in mind, this is not a high-end action camera. That's also very expensive. For this price point, I would say a majority of the cameras like it do not have video stabilization. So you be the video stabilization when you're filming Anytime that you know you're gonna need to capture something, just move slowly. Don't jerk, don't run. Just be slow and methodical, and you're gonna capture what you need. The third thing that I don't really care for about the camera, when you're just recording like I am now, it's fine, you can easily see it on the screen. But if you wanna use video editing software to change anything, you're gonna notice that in the video editor, it's a mirror image, so it's been spun around. This is easily fixed though. You can Google it on your own. In my editor, you just take the scale on the x-axis and you minus 100. That's gonna rotate it left to right and fix that mirror image. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, if you're taking a video in your car, you know you sit in the driver's seat, but if you watch a video, it looks like you're in the passenger seat. And that's because the image is mirrored. All right, so now it's time to go over some pro tips for users like you. Let's go. It's really exciting to be able to share some pro tips with you. The first one, I'm gonna to cut to a clip now using the green screen of me making a mount for this camera. So let's check that out, I'll be right back. There's one solution that I found that's very helpful. If you're gonna slip it in your pocket, the pocket can be flimsy. So to fix that, I'm gonna make a cardboard insert that'll go behind and then the camera can slide on that. So let's use this tissue box here. That looks pretty decent. Next, let's make it stronger by laminating it. All right, it's going in. This is gonna make it strong and waterproof. I used this idea to laminate my airport permit when I did ride share. Next, we'll use these scissors and trim around the edges. And we'll keep it smooth so there's no sharp edges. And there you have it. This makes it strong and firm. What other ideas do you have? Possibly you could use a laminated paper plate. What about just cutting a plastic cutting board? You could cut this shape out and put it in your pocket too. What ideas do you have? I found that this is pretty strong and stable and I'm very happy with the camera. So in that video, I talk about how the camera needs to be stable. You have to have something inside your pocket, otherwise it does kind of get flimsy in there. So having this stable mount like this really helps you get clear video. And my second pro tip, you need to mount this just like it shows in all the pictures online. And let's cut to a clip where I share why that happens. One pro tip for you. Mount it always with the buttons facing away from you. If you turn it the other way, whenever you're trying to use the camera, the buttons are gonna get pushed and it's not gonna record. So those pictures are there for a reason. Always have the camera facing out. And just to clarify, you can see the mount is thin and that's why the buttons get pushed. So if you mount it facing outwards, then everything is fine. So I wanted to thank you for watching all those variety of clips, different aspects of the camera, and me sharing my thoughts. This comes down to the moment. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do recommend it. This is a fun camera. It's gonna give you a lot of service. It's very easy to use, and it's very well priced. So do check the video description. There's a link in there and a discount code that you can take advantage of. And thank you Vidcasta for sponsoring me. Using both of these cameras has been a real treat. And like I mentioned earlier, the entire video has been filmed using this camera. Each of us has different needs on why we would want to rely on a body camera. 
Over the last couple years, I've relied on dash cameras, body cameras, and the timestamp camera app to help document my job and keep me from getting fired. And if you want to learn more about that, check out this video next.